Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's video is going to be a Primark haul of the New In Spring 2024 collection. I have been seeing so many come to Primark with me videos at the moment testing out the new collection and loads of people are loving it so I had to go to Primark and test it out for myself. I took a trip to the Milton Keynes Primark which is so much bigger and better than my usual one and because of that I made quite a large purchase. I have probably spent over £100 on this I think but I thought might as well make it into a haul show you guys the bits that I've got so I hope you enjoy watching. So I picked up a range of things in this haul. I've got homeware, I've got accessories, I've got clothing, I've got shoes. So yeah, I've got a few things to go through. I think the homeware particularly was doing so well at the moment. Like I had to really resist from picking up even more than I did. I feel like if your kind of homeware vibe is more so on the bright and colourful, like neons, fruit prints, you would love it in there at the moment. There is so much good stuff. I feel like because my home vibe is more so neutral, I managed to kind of resist a bit more and put some stuff back, but I picked up a couple of things. But we will start out with the few homeware bits that I did get. So first of all, I picked up a towel. They had so many cute pastel prints in there, but I really loved this one. I picked it up for my downstairs bathroom because my color scheme in there is sage green, but I thought the check print was so cute. I think they also had this in red as well, um, which is giving like picnic blanket kind of vibes for the spring. Um, but yeah, I thought this was very sweet. They had in the bath sheets, bath towels and also hand towels as well. I picked up the hand towel and this was £5. They had so many cute mugs in Primark at the moment and I had to decide on just one. I was not letting myself get more than one mug because I do not really need any more but I just thought this one was so cute. It's a little orange or lemon or something citrusy um, but I thought this would be so sweet to have for the summer. It was only £3 um, and the inside is very cute as well. Um, I feel like you could see this in like H&M Home and I would probably pay more than £3 for it so I was really happy with this one and our final homeware item is a candle and it is a very cool candle um if you watch my homeware videos last year you would know I was doing up my garden bar it's like a shed that we've turned into a bar in the garden um and this is kind of the vibe that I'm going for in here like very cool funky items and neon colors and that sort of thing so I thought this would go very nicely I've already got a plant pot that looks kind of like a disco ball so I thought the candle would go nicely in there too although obviously I will not burn it because it is essentially a shed and I don't want to burn it down um but yeah, it's a three wicked one. I don't know if it is scented. Let me check. It is. It's very nice. It kind of smells like a spa. So that's nice. But yeah, this one was £7. And they also had a disco ball plant pot on like strings so that you could hang it from a ceiling. So that was quite cool as well. Um, but yeah, I limited myself to just this one, but I thought it was very sweet. So that is it for homeware. I will show you the couple of shoes that I got. So I got some flip flops, always a classic when you're going to Primark in the spring summer that one pound flip flops are very good. I get a new one every year and this year I went for gold. Um, I just thought this was a very summery vibe. So I got these ones and then also picked up some new slippers. These are actually the slippers that I've got at the moment, but I wanted to get some new ones um, and they are super comfy, very cute. Definitely go with the vibe of my room as well. Um, so yeah, I picked these ones up too and these were five pounds and the flip-flops obviously were one pound as well. I will move on to accessories and we will end with clothes because I'm very happy with a lot of the clothing bits that I picked up um, but the accessories are very cute as well. So I picked up a few new pairs of socks. They had some really cute like spring patterns on there in this like cute little floral print um, and then I also picked these ones up. I've taken one pair of the socks out of here already um, but they've got some nice little fruit prints on them. I just thought they were very sweet. They've got like flowers and strawberries and that sort of thing and I love a funky print sock. So I got these ones. These were three pounds and these were three pounds as well. I then got this two pack of headscarves for £2.50 and I just find this is really useful in the summer like a really easy hairstyle to do to get your hair off of your face. I can't really do a lot with my hair, I'm not very good at like plaiting and stuff like that so this is an easy option for me and I thought the leopard print was really cool. Obviously leopard print is very much coming back in this year so I love that so I had to get these ones. They had so many different styles of sunglasses in there. I'm definitely a funky sunglass girly. I like to buy loads of different sunglasses and really use them to help me style and outfit. I didn't have any white sunglasses so I picked these ones up. They were £3.50 and I just thought they were really cool. I like the square kind of style. I thought they would look cool with an outfit in the summer so yeah I got these ones. 
And our final accessory is a hat. I picked up a bucket hat. I've mentioned in a video before, but I'm going to Bali later on this year, which I'm very excited for. And of course, we'll be vlogging the entire thing. So I'm excited to share it with you. But I needed to get a summer hat to cover up my head so I don't run my parting. So I got this one and it's just a little bucket hat. I don't really have anything like this at the moment, but I thought the neutral colour would go with so many different outfits and be nice when you're just sat on the beach just to have a bit of shade as well. So um, yeah, I got that one. Oh, and that was £6. And now moving on to clothing, the first thing that I picked out was a plain white t-shirt. When I was shopping with my friends, they were surprised to find out that I don't currently own a plain white t-shirt. I do have t-shirts, it's just they're not currently my usual style, but the ones that I do have are kind of more like graphic printed. Um, but yeah, I don't have a plain white one, so I got this one, which they very much recommended. Apparently Primark's t-shirts are really good quality, and this one definitely feels it. It is super thick, which I really like. It feels like it's not going to cling to you, which will be good for the summer. Um, and yeah it's a really like nice boxy fit as well um, so a super comfortable outfit to wear paired with like blue them shorts or something I feel like I would actually start wearing this in the summer so I got that one it was quite expensive for a t-shirt but I think you can feel the quality on there um, it was £12 um, but yeah hopefully I will wear this one we will test it out and see <laughs> Next up is a jumper and I definitely thought I was done with buying jumpers for this season but this one I do feel like I could wear more in the spring. It is a really nice crochet kind of jumper and it's a very cute pastel colour and I feel like because it's got quite like large holes in it you could definitely get away with wearing it when the weather's getting a bit warmer but also it is quite thick like it's a very like heavy um, weighted jumper so I feel like it will add some warmth to an outfit so especially in times like now where it's still quite like cold you can't really get away with going out without wearing like a coat or something a bit thicker this would probably be a good option I do feel like I will wear this and it's definitely one of the colours that I love wearing as well um long sleeve got little cuffs on the end I can't remember how much this one actually was 15 pounds so I do definitely feel like Primark's prices have gone up however for something like this I feel like that's definitely worth it and it's quite long as well which I like because I'm quite tall um so yeah I got that one I then picked up some shorts and I just thought these were a really cool pattern. Um, I watched a TikTok video the other day of this girl walking around Primark and her giving her opinion on everything. And yeah, she was basically saying all of the stuff that I like, like I will show you the other pattern. This print stuff is very like RE teacher, giving like teacher on holiday kind of vibes, mumsy vibes, but I'm still here for it. I still really like all of the boho kind of paisley stuff. Um, so yeah, I picked up these ones. I love this style of short in the summer. The stretchy waistband I think is really comfy it's like a really thin like linen material which is really nice um so yeah and I will get my use out of these ones and they were only a six pounds which is good and yeah the other ones that I just showed you these are more so kind of beach trousers they are full length um and very floaty wide leg and also have that stretchy waistband as well with the tie waist and yeah I just really like the colours in these ones I feel like even if they are a bit mumsy I still really like them and then I got a swimming costume to pair with these ones as a bit of a beachy outfit so here is the swimming costume and I just really liked the rust colour. I also love when they do like the ribbed material swimming costumes. I think it's a really like flattering fabric to wear. Um, and yeah, it has adjustable straps, which I really like. And um, yeah, classic swimming costume, but I thought a really nice kind of material and colour. So together, I feel like they would go really nicely. And also with that bucket hat from earlier as well, a very cool look. <laughs> And for that, the trousers were £12 and the swimming costume was £12 as well. So that was everything that I picked up from Primark within today's haul. There was definitely more in the store that I could have picked up and did really like, but I tried to have some self-restraint and not pick up everything that I saw. Um, but even like the Rita Ora collection I saw was really nice. They've got some nice like floaty dresses in that at the moment, but I've been seeing loads of people wearing them on TikTok. So I feel like that's what everyone is going to be wearing this summer. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend heading down to Primark and having a look at their spring collection. It is very pastel, very cute, very girly, which I love is kind of fitting with my style and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I picked up and I will hopefully see you in my next video bye